Hello and thanks for watching yet another video on the great state of Arizona and today we're going to take a look at Morrison Ranch and it's a community that's reminiscent of the Midwest with a familiar family feel and you're going to love it, I'm sure. Stay tuned. My name is Ryan Meeks. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And if you're looking to move to Arizona, you think you might want to work with a guy like me, feel free to call me right now. Yep, right now. Feel free to text, email, whatever works for you. Get in touch with me and I can show you around. So Morrison Ranch is a 3,000 acre master plan community located in Northeast Gilbert, like I said. And one thing you'll immediately recognize when you drive through Morrison Ranch from a busier street is the white fence and the abundance of tree-lined streets. This community probably holds the record for the amount of trees and shade in Arizona. You'll also notice that the streets are actually straight, unlike other subdivisions and master plan communities within Arizona. And there's an abundance of grass too. If you took a picture and sent it to your grandma, she would not think that you are in Arizona. The Midwest vibe is what they were going for with this community. The sidewalks are set back a bit and on some streets there's even an island with more trees running down the streets. It definitely gives it that Midwest feel that's a little bit different than any other community in Arizona. So there are a few different communities that are actually within Morrison Ranch and I recorded a few snippets from each of them. So let me go through and show you the community. Higley Groves is the oldest part of the community and there's a Higley Groves East and a Higley Groves West. Higley Groves West is located north of Elliott and west of Higley. Higley Groves West has some really nice one-story homes and has one park called Windmill Park with some green space and another spot across the street with some green space as well. Of course, there's plenty of trees if you want to enjoy a picnic in the shade. At the end of the western cul-de-sacs sits a trail which runs up into the Riparian Preserve north and south to Riggs Road. It also connects to the Western Power Line Trail, so you can take it to multiple parks and even to downtown Gilbert, which is only about three and a half miles away. Now that makes for some pretty good hikes or a morning run or an easy commute on the bike for dinner at one of the awesome downtown restaurants. The trail also takes you all the way to Cactus Yards. We'll touch on that in a few. The homes in this area can range from the 400s all the way up over the $1 million mark. You'll notice a lot of single stories with over 4,000 square feet and a really cool courtyard upon entering the home. One of my favorite features if you've seen any of my other videos. You absolutely have to check out this neighborhood. It's one of my favorites in Morrison Ranch because it's a mature neighborhood. To the east of Higley Groves West is Higley Groves East. Who'd have thought? The staple of this community is a large green belt which runs down the center and features the Lexington Court Playground. And this features a playground along with a basketball court and plenty of green space. The park is connected to all the other streets with a sidewalk trail system for easy access. Being in the center of the neighborhood, it really encourages the residents to come together and get to know one another. And you'll see this throughout Morrison Ranch. One thing I do have to say about this neighborhood is that when I drove down it, I got a good welcome home feeling. And I don't get that from just any other neighborhood. I'm not quite sure how to explain it, but I can just tell that this area not only had nice homes, but a good community vibe. And that's pretty hard to replicate. In Higley Groves East, there are a few more parks and even some more green belts to enjoy. Highland Park Elementary is also located in Hingley Groves East and it's a good option with a great school rating of 9 out of 10. So you can be sure that when you relocate your little one is definitely going to get a great education if they choose the community school. Just east of this is Holiday Farms which is another subdivision that somehow snuck its way in there but if you skip over this subdivision you'll run into Morrison Ranch's Highland Groves neighborhood. This neighborhood has homes that were built in 06, 07 and 08 just before the crash. This part of the neighborhood has a green space for its central meeting location, but also has two catch and release ponds. On the day I visited it, there were about 10 people on the Southern Lake fishing and hanging out, and that's where you got to witness me crashing and breaking my new beloved drone. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Next to each lake is a playground structure, and to the south there's a basketball court and even more green space. To the north, residents also have access to that Western Power Line Trail. Sitting just next to Highland Ranch is the Highland Groves at Morrison Ranch, and this is a luxury apartment community, 
And I know this because it says it on the sign, so it's gotta be. And when you drive through, there's even a charge point charging station for electric cars. You don't see that at a lot of apartment communities, I'll be honest. The people walking outside look very nice, and there's also a pool for guests. Next to this community lies the Mission Church, which is a non-denominational, what I call mega church. And next to that is Cactus Yards, which is a huge baseball complex. The park features eight baseball fields, as well as a field house for indoor sports. If you've seen my Living in Gilbert video, you'll know that each field is modeled after a big league sports team. This facility is run by the town of Gilbert and includes softball, little league, kickball, and indoor soccer, as well as volleyball inside of the field house. Just south of Highland Ranch is Elliott Groves, which is another community within Morrison Ranch. And don't worry, we have a few more to go. Once again, like the other communities, there's a central green belt with two parks and a few pavilions. The homes here were built in 2013 to 2017, and it's a pretty mature neighborhood already. These trees grow pretty fast. Each one of the parks features a basketball court as well. To the west is Lakeview Trails. This area is kind of separated with more of a mature northern section just behind the town center, which I'll talk about in a second. The homes here were built in 2008 and 2011, and you'll notice a lot of these neighborhoods don't have homes that were built in 2009. Wonder why. This is such a great family-friendly area. You can see people fishing at the main lake on any given day or walking down the trail that leads into the town center. And I even had a group of teens walk up and ask if I was a YouTuber while I was recording. Howdy. They were very friendly, hey. polite, and just really good kids, hey. I could tell. Hey, yeah, I am. You're in it. I, I am. Lakeview Ranch has two green belts that span about a half mile from Elliott south to the main trail. Within these green belts, you can find four parks with playground structures and shade, along with two basketball courts and a sand volleyball court. This particular neighborhood has some new builds that are going up in the southern section of the square mile near the silos. These homes range from about 600,000 up to over a million dollars for the luxury Camelot brand builder. Yes, these homes are very nice. There are still homes available as of this recording, so if you're interested in checking it out, let me know. In the southern section of Lakeview Trails, there are parks and various green belts already established, but unfortunately you don't have the shade and mature trees, which are prevalent in some of the 10-year-old communities. There's still plenty of land to be developed in Lakeview Trails, and it looks like it's probably gonna be going on through at least 2022 with a lot of space to fill. West of Lakeview Trails and across Higley Road is Warner Groves. As you probably guessed, this just sits north of Warner and is bordered by Higley. This community, Warner Groves, has, you guessed it, a green belt in the middle of the neighborhood and a park to the north and south which have a playground, volleyball court, and a basketball court. Higley Estates is on the other side. This particular neighborhood is one of my favorites here and features some of the larger homes with larger lots. And they can range from 600,000 to 900,000 and probably up over a million. And this is right on Morrison Ranch Parkway, the main street. Some of these lots are huge at about 35,000 square feet. They were built in 2004 and 2005, so it would, this would actually make this community the oldest in Morrison Ranch. The neighborhood has four green spaces and only one of them has a playground structure while the others are more for recreational activities like soccer or ultimate frisbee. So one of the coolest things about Morrison Ranch being a master plan community is they kind of have their own little town center and it is appropriately named Town Center. So if you want to get some grocery shopping done or get a bite to eat on a Friday night, you can go to the town center. So this place definitely feels like it was just made for the Morrison Ranch community. It's trimmed up with the white fence and the matching trees. They have supermarket here, Bashes. They also have a dance studio, a dentist, karate, and the popular Four Silos Brewery is also located here, which you can go to to get a, a good beer, coffee, or even a bite to eat for dinner. Within the town center is a lake that leads to the main trail in Morrison Ranch, connecting all the communities. So if you want to move to Arizona, you but you don't want that desert landscaping, I suggest you check out Morrison Ranch, and it'll definitely make you feel like you're home.
Hey, thanks for watching. For more videos on escaping to Arizona, just click that subscribe button to stay in the loop.